3D synthesis gunks. The goal for this tutorial is to hook up our envelope to affect the VCF filter cutoff frequency and to affect the VCO pulse width modulation. This is slightly easier said than done. Let's look at the filter first. If you look at the SH101 VCF module, you can see controls for envelope, modulation, and keyboard. Open your VCF.pd patch. The first thing we are going to do here is add a little bit of smoothing to filter changes. Add a pack object and an audio line object between the frequency slider and the clip object. We can have a smoothing value of 100 milliseconds or so. Now we are going to add an audio plus object so that we can affect this with the envelope and also the incoming note through the keyboard. We add an audio inlet for incoming frequency information about the currently triggered note. Create a slider with a logarithmic range of something like 0.1 to 48 for the keyboard control. Let's make three sliders while we are at it for all the controls. Use the keyboard slider to scale the incoming frequency inlet range, and then add this to the frequency slider output like so. This will be a master test patch. This will mean that notes that are higher automatically open the filter mirror, while lower notes have mere closed filters. Now we are going to do the same for the envelope control. Create another audio and add and multiply like this. Add another audio inlet for the envelope input. You probably want to give yourself a bit more space than this. I'm working with a tiny fucking patch so you can all see what I'm doing. We will exponentially scale the envelope again for steeper frequency slopes. Let's also have a different logarithmic scale here as the envelope values are only in the range not the one, so we need to scale them up to frequency ranges. Set N to 4000 Hz. The logarithmic setting can't have not as a minimum so we need to subtract the N again afterwards, then connect it up to the multiply. Cool. Check you have connected things nicely, tidy up a bit, and make sure the control inlet is the leftmost inlet. Save the patch and go back to your master test patch. You should now see three mere sliders. Connect the source mixer to the second inlet, which should be the audio input still. Then connect the rightmost outlet through the VCO to the new frequency inlet on the filter. If you remember, we added this extra outlet for the raw frequency information as an audio signal for this exact purpose. We can use our send and receive pair to send the envelope signal to the filter input. We can now try this with our note tester. Notice how the envelope and keyboard sliders affect the sound. Connect the envelope to your VCO module. Open the VCO.pd patch. Again, if you look at the SH101 VCO panel, you can see two mere controls. One for modulation and one to change the pulse width modulation. We will come back to the modulation in the next tutorial, but for now, let's add the switch control for the pulse width modulation. We will add a placeholder inlet for the modulation and one for our envelope input. 
Remember that these are audio inlets. We will want to pass these only the square wave sub patch, so go in there and add the same two inlets for modulation and envelope. We are going to also create a signal that just outputs a constant one to represent no modulation, the manual option on our switch. Finally add in one audio inlet for the switch input. Our switch will essentially toggle the volumes for the different inputs, so if it is set to modulation, we multiply modulation by one, and all the other options by not. If we want the envelope, we multiply the modulation and manual signals by not, and the envelope input by one, and so on and so on. The switch gives us a not, a one, or a two, where not is the modulation option, one is the manual option, and two is the envelope option. This will get messy, so we can tidy this up in the sub patch and merge the outputs to a single outlet. Watch out that if you are copying and pasting, make sure to change the signal 1 to an audio inlet. We apply this to scale the modulation which is coming in this inlet and being smoothed. Add a simple multiply and connect this up patch output. Now we go back up a level with it up the VCO patch and connect things. Basically just passing the inlets and control directly into the square wave sub patch. Remember that the middle inlet here is our control inlet, so don't fanny about trying to connect the signal to it like I'm doing. We can add extra controls here too for the mode selection and other elements while we are about it. We can also add some initial values for things here too. Save the VCO patch and go back to your top level patch. You can again use the send and receive objects to connect the envelope signal to the VCO. If you have set it up like I have, then the envelope is the rightmost inlet. The middle inlet will be for our modulator in the next tutorial. Try out the envelope with a square wave oscillator. See you again soon for the modulator. Thank <laughs> you.